Hi there, Rishi this side. Today we'll see how to create these colorful shadows based on their content. So let's jump into the tutorial. So this technique can be used basically in any other design tool which supports the blur effect. Let me just turn on the UI of Figma. I have a ready UI here just for the example. Let's say we want to work with this image. Press command D or control D to create a duplicate of the same image. Let's rename this to image shadow. Go to effects, add an effect and change it from drop shadow to layer blur. Let's increase the blur. And let's just move this shadow layer a bit underneath. You can keep it like this, but I like it a bit smaller. So basically it depends what kind of effect you are trying to achieve. Cool. Now let's select the original image to give a bit more emphasis on the shadow. Let's add a couple of effects on the original image itself. Uh, I think we can use corner radius first. And let's just add a stylized stroke. Solid to linear. And let's change both of them to white. something like this now we can reduce the overall stroke a bit let's say maybe 40 percent let me zoom in a little bit this is how it will look now let's add an effect here the effect would be inner shadow let me just show you how it looks with 100 percent opacity so right now it's in positive y-axis we need to bring it down so let's move it from positive to negative y-axis let's just say minus 16 pixel and increase the blur to maybe 32 and now we can reduce up st to maybe 16 or a bit more a very subtle inner shadow let me just turn it on and off and show you the difference very subtle but it pops the shadow a bit more cool now let's say you want to create a couple of more images like this so let me just pull these two layers out and let's just create a component out of it press command option k or you can just click this symbol create component and let's call it glow image and let's just check our constraints of the child elements both should be scale it's already scale so let's just make an instance of our parent component i've just pressed pressed option or alt and drag a copy out of it now let's create a couple of more duplicates let's just bring them both underneath the first image we can scale them a little bit let's move them out a bit select everything i'm putting them in a group central line them let's call them Oops. okay now to change these two images you just need to select the other image let's say this one copy image and i'll just select the image layer and hit paste similarly i'll do the same thing on the image shadow layer so now you can see my shadows are 
updating according to the original content same thing we can do with the other image maybe this one and select the third one press command v or control v and same thing i can do for the image shadow layer you can use the same technique on any other elements for example here i have a button let me just remove them from the group this is my original button i'm calling it button skeleton and this one is the derived component in the button component if you see i have the same button skeleton here and the bottom layer would be button skeleton with same layer blur effect i have scaled it down and moved it in the minus y axis a bit now let's say if i want to change my base gradient to some different color let me just pull something from the library see the shadow and the button color are updating accordingly similarly you can you use the same technique in the icons as well let's say i have a 64 pixel icon set which have different icons i can drag them out and create a nested component and call it glow icon let's just duplicate this and the bottom layer i can move it maybe two pixels down and add the layer blur effect you just need to play around a bit with the positioning and the amount of blur you want to show right now i think it's it's a bit more i can move them up one pixel now the beauty of this approach is i can have multiple instances of the parent component and in between them if i want to replace the icon with a different icon i can just select both of them and replace it same goes for the glow image component as well let's say we want to increase the inner shadow a bit or we want to remove the corner radius so i just need to do that in the original master component i can reduce the radius we can increase the inner shadow see that will reflect in all the instances if you find this helpful please share it with your fellow designers thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye